Greetings, beloved. Peace and blessings to you. I'm Giovanni Tizzo, the Spiritual Love Healer. Today's video is just some random chatter about things that I'm working on, things that I'm excited about, and what to expect. I've been putting off really doing readings just because, like I shared before, that you know, I'm still waiting for furniture and things like that. And I want it to be like in my space. I miss having like my little temple room where I would do my readings and healings and things like that. So my desk and stuff should be arriving within the next week, I believe. So once I have all of that, um, I'm going to be doing more readings and have my cards displayed better where I can just like grab them without the towers falling over. So I'm really excited about that. I've been looking forward to bringing everything together. So that's really what I've been focusing on is bringing my home space together and working, which is going really well. I'm about to go into a really busy season with Valentine's Day. So I'm being very gentle with myself and not putting extra responsibilities on my plate. Life is really, really good. And I remember a time when I was dreaming about this life. And now I am living this life. And I really want to encourage you and impress upon you that you absolutely have the power to recreate yourself, to transform your life, to live what I like to call abundantly ever after. And I know it gets even better than this because this isn't the end of the journey, right? So there are different levels and layers and to reach each next layer is really a gift and a blessing. It is an unfolding of my true essence. And that would be the same for you. The things that I desire for myself are things that I have always desired ever since I was a little girl. But then you grow up and life or your parents or whatever teaches you that that's not realistic, that you can't live your life like that, that you have to fit in these, these little boxes and do these certain things because that's what society does. And that's absolutely false. We each were created with a purpose, with a vision implanted within us. And when we start to do the work to live that, it's just like everything starts to unfold and magic starts to happen because the universe is like, okay, we got to clear the way. Like they're walking their path. Like we need to clear this. Things start to become very effortless. And part of what helped me to accelerate into the things that I desired for myself, like I feel that I've reached all of my 2024 goals uh, between December of 2023 and like the end of January, 2024. I feel like I have reached all the goals that I set for myself. So I'm like, okay, I need new goals. <laughs> And so what got me there is this 21 day journey that I started last October. And I shared a clip that I posted on my TikTok channel and I'll move the other clips over here in case you would like to see them as well, where I was just kind of showing up on TikTok and talking about the things that I was doing, the changes that I was seeing and just random stuff. Cause you know, I like to talk <laughs> and I called it 21 days of expansion. And for me, it was just setting out to do the things that I wanted to do in my daily life, right? To integrate new habits and things like that. So I was not expecting it to become this major catalyst for growth, but that's actually what it was. And I think because I just set out to say, okay, these are the changes that I am making. And then I started showing up and started doing those things and was holding myself accountable. It shifted something energetically for me it oh something awakened deeper inside of me and then the divine my guys the universe just started um working with me and through me clearing out things that i had no idea like 
it was mind blowing. And I've gone through transformative journeys and every time it's always like, oh my gosh, this really happened. Like this is for real because it's, man, it's so beautiful. And I think what happens is once we get to a place where we're so focused on ourselves, it puts you almost in a state of surrender and in a state of receiving because you're not fighting against anything. You're just showing up and doing what you need to do. And I think that was a big part of seeing the changes that I saw in my life. Um, changes that created opening for an amazing, amazing job for me as a massage therapist that initially, <laughs> like, I turned down, like I canceled the interview. So I was like, no, nah, I don't plan on moving there. So I'm gonna just like stay where I'm at because this is where I wanna be. And then other things happen that repositioned me to have to move. And I still didn't think that job was an option. So I wound up going somewhere else that I was miserable at. I didn't like it. I could tell like it was not a very welcoming or inclusive environment. It just was not right for me. I did not like being there. And I got a call from the owner of the place that I'm at now. And she's, uh, you know, we talked and Something was like, that's where you're supposed to be. And I went and checked it out and I'm like, oh my gosh. Cause I still had like declined the position. Um, but she said something that really like sh struck a chord within me. And she was, she said, I hope you're happy wherever you are. And like when she said, like I could feel it bouncing off the cells in my body. Like I could feel it vibrating in me. And it was like, my spirit was like, no, you're not happy. And like, I, I, that just kept playing over and over and over. And so it wasn't far from where I was at. So I went and checked it out, um, a couple days later. And cause I think that was a Saturday. So I think that Monday I went and I looked at it. And as soon as I walked in, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is beautiful. This is where I want to be. They had a Vichy shower. I was hooked and I love it. It's the best place that I could have landed. And I look forward to continuing to grow, develop and thrive there as a massage therapist. Life is really beautiful to have. I'm doing work that I love in a place that I love with people that I love. It's a beautiful environment. And even work can be easeful. Now my work, some days I'm busy, like slammed back to back, lots going on. So of course there's going to be that work aspect of it, all the different things that come along with it. But it's easeful because it's a peaceful place to work. It's like having sanctuary at work, having, um, harmony and peace and a positive environment to work in makes a huge difference. So little things like that, creating shifts. So where, whether you're working for yourself or whether you're working for someone else, that you can be in a state of ease and flow, even within your workplace, like all of these things are possible. Having harmonious relationships, people who mean you no good, just stepping away, not even having to have conversations, but they just can see that energetically they can't reach you anymore. So you don't have to, they're just, just faded away. Like they're no longer part of this new journey, this new life that you're in because they don't fit. They don't belong there. And it's very interesting because you can absolutely feel the misalignment when you are around people um, or even in places that are not an energetic match, that don't resonate with you anymore. So <sighs> lots of beautiful things are happening. Um, but yeah, I will talk more about that and share some more like things on healing and getting yourself in a position where you can create some space between you and other people, especially if it's like family. So creating some more things around healing and giving yourself space, creating space between you and people who maybe not don't resonate or maybe it's family. So it's kind of hard to, to set those boundaries and things like that. Um, it's possible no matter if you're living with folks, if you like, it is all 
possible. And I think another key aspect is to, I'm always thinking about the life that I want. I'm always thinking about my abundantly ever after, my big vision. And then the overall little things that tie into that. So that's why I said like, this is one level. Like, yes, I have made it. I'm definitely in a new timeline, but this still isn't the, the final picture or the final piece of the puzzle. There's more. So it's like pulling in all the different pieces that are needed for this entire um, vision, this entire dream to manifest. And so it's a journey. And like I said, I will be starting over the 21 days of expansion. And I'm trying to pull together some resources and things. And like I've already created the Facebook group so that I can invite other people to do it with me because it's 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 a game changer. It is life changing. And what it did was really create momentum to propel me. It helped me to quantum leap out of one life into another. And so I'm like, okay, let me go back into it and do this again and then do it again and just keep doing it to keep building upon that energy because I've seen exactly what it can do and it's powerful so that's one of the things that i will be working on um, i guess personally and professionally because i would like it to be something that i invite other people into but for now like i'm still like really focused on this is just me jump starting my my life kick starting myself and um focusing on that I am still doing email reading, so that is open. They're, I believe, $88, and there's different types of readings. You can do a general reading, or you can focus on one of the specialty readings that I have. So when you sign up for that, you'll pay for it. I'll get your information. Um, if I need to ask any like clarifying questions, then um, you'll get an email from me with all the information and any questions that I may have for you so that I can do your reading and get you know clear information and then it will be delivered to you in a beautiful email. So I'm excited about that because I have missed doing readings. When I have a little more space, I'm thinking probably over the summer is when I will be doing like um, phone readings and doing more um, energy healing sessions, probably remote work for now. But right now, I'm just really focusing on readings and also my courses are available. There's so many courses that I've created that I need to like pull together and put on my website and just getting things together. Loved community is coming together and will be officially launching soon, but I am inviting people in to join me if you feel it is right and aligned and true for you to be in that space. It's going to be $27 a month um, right now to start as an initial heartbeat, which is like a founding member of Loved. And yeah, I've been recording new podcast episodes. Inside of Loved itself, there's going to be an exclusive podcast where I'm giving a lot of like context and behind the scenes information. I know myself and I can talk about things without going into details about ex specifically what happened. And so on this podcast, number one, I wanna do more of that, really like giving the story behind the story and also talking more about the spiritual warfare and just different things that are happening within the dynamics of relationships, whether it's family, whether it is intimate partnerships, men, women, like things that are happening. Um, definitely the this, this spiritual side, because there is a lot of, of spiritual warfare that is happening and just talking about a lot of different things. Um, but I felt like it needed to be in a sacred container for right now. So yeah, that's happening. And... I'm preparing to print an editor's copy of my book, Healing Single Mothers, because I would sit down and try to write and it would just be like, nothing's coming out. 
And I'm like, okay, why is this? So I went back through my outline and just fill into things and realized I feel the book is complete. Um, so I'm gonna try to organize all the pages, print it so I can read it and edit it and see are there spaces where I need to add more information, so on and so forth. Go back, do another copy, have that one proofed, and then it should be available. I'm hoping by September, that is my, my plan, that is my intention because I'm ready to start writing Dating the Devil. That book right there, like my fingers feel hot. Like, ooh, it's gonna be so good. So yay, lots of awesome things are happening. I'm really grateful for being back and doing this work. Like, uh, it just, it feels so good. It really and truly does because this is my purpose. This is what I am here to do. I'm here to help people heal grow and thrive so that they can live abundantly ever after heartache, pain, and trauma. No matter what I've done to try to distance myself from like relationship work, it always comes back to this, this work, this body of work that has came through me as a spiritual love healer. And so I'm, I'm surrendering and I'm doing what I was created to do and it feels really good to just do that. Um, I might come back on and do some readings later. I shared with one of my followers that I will do a complete debt collection video. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do that. And maybe it'll be when I'm putting them up on the shelving unit that I bought. Because um, I have to figure out how I'm going to store them as well. I have like my angel decks, my crystal decks. I've got certain decks that I use for certain things. So yeah, I don't know, but it's going to come together and it's going to be great. Um, there's a lot of videos that I will be posting on my YouTube channel from like TikTok, Facebook, just stuff that I've had scattered so I can just bring them all here. So I have a lot of things to do and I'm really looking forward to it because it's just creating space for me to be able to show up and do other things instead of thinking about this backlog of stuff that I have going on. I have toyed with the idea of getting some sort of assistant, but for the stuff that I need done, I don't know that virtual would be helpful. So I'm still like mulling that around, but yes. That's it, just some updates and um, a little bit of encouragement as well. I'm still sitting with the message from the spiritual love forecast from last week. So that's why I don't feel called to do another one because that was that was pretty, pretty heavy um, about respect. So, yeah. All right. I hope that you have an amazing, beautiful, beautiful week. Who knows? I might show up again and do something else. But for now, I will sign off. Um, again, join me inside of love. That's going to be my monthly membership community where I will be teaching uh, master classes, workshops. We'll be having different conversations. I shared that there is an exclusive podcast. I will be hosting open office hours where you can come on and ask a question. We'll be doing um, spiritual love circles, the uh, healing circles that I used to host live um, and for the public. You can find some of those videos on my channel. Yeah, just it's it's gonna be the space where I show up and do the most work because of my schedule. It allows me to have more of an impact to just bring all of my work together in one place. So there's already some courses inside of Love that you have access to. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know what they are. Oh my gosh. And there are some courses that I need to re-record and update. And yeah, it's it's a lot. But I'm excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And ah, uh, it feels so good. It feels so good to do this work and to help other people. So yeah, um, join me inside Loved. Go to my website. The link is in my bio in the description and tap in so that we can go ahead. Oh, and we're reading Energy of Money, which is a phenomenal book that it's about so much more than just money. It's about the energy and like, uh, it, it's just really good. 
and it touches on these 12 principles. So that's something that we're going to be working through as well. So there's a lot happening. If you want to work with me on a deeper level, this is a great way to work with me as your coach, as your healer, as your teacher at one low monthly cost. It stays the same as long as you are a member. The introductory price is just for now, so that will change later. And I'm thinking it'll be like $44 a month. But yeah, um, as long as you're a member, you are welcome to partake and to ask questions and to get the support that you need so that you can also live abundantly ever after. I will see you there. I love you. Peace.